Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to show you what's going on today. I've got a wedding to get to. Got to get ready for it. So I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to show you what's going on here today. My husband's been out here. Oh, cowboy. He's been um, working on the bird houses. We've had a lot of storms and high wind, and some of them got messed up. So he's been fixing those and... Then we got the hummingbird feeders out because the little hummies are looking for food. But the last couple of weeks, he's tilled the garden a couple of times. Look, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but the bluebirds have come back to this house. They come back every year. Anyway, up there where the trout deer is, we had a huge pile of... Um, it was wood chips and manure from a local fairground, from the Perry National Fairgrounds. And we hadn't gone in a couple years, but you could go and just get free loads of it. So we just had a pile of it sitting there composting. And we always struggle with weeds. We used to use it as a cover to cut down on weeds, but it wasn't working so well. And every year we just have a terrible time. So what my husband decided to do was to get some silk screen. We just got big rolls of it. So we're going to try that between rows to see if that helps. And that's what he's working on today. And he took that big pile of dirt that we had that was composting and he spread it over this section of the garden because we have just pure sand here. It's been a battle every year to get things to grow, but he took all of that and we've done it several, several times over the last few years and just covered the garden in the worst part that needed the most help. So he's just getting that all ready and he just had to run over it a few times with the tractor because the sand is so fluffy. You just about can't even walk in it. You sink halfway up your leg. So that's what he's working on. And then we'll get ready to put the seeds in the ground. We're going to move the corn to this side of the garden this year. It was over on that side last year. And I think we're going to put peas and beans over. Not peas. Um, well, yeah. Black eyed peas. Green peas, zipper peas, that type thing over there. And green beans. And everything else out in the middle. Have you ever heard anybody say they wish they had more dandelions? <laughs> This year, I wish I did. I want to make dandelion jelly again. Oh, the last time I made it, I said I would never, ever, ever do it again. <laughs> but I want to do it again. We came back home from the wedding. And the little rascal is out here helping his cowboy daddy finish up these strips. I don't know if they'll get done today. But they're doing a great job. They've got over half of it done. sure what the paint's about. He just said he's spraying to mark the stakes. So we'll be planning soon. I'm excited. Hey guys, it is Monday afternoon and my little guy and I are about to get the corn in the ground. I needed to drop these off to the chickens before I head out there. Hey, babies. Here, 
Jake is making the rows for the corn. The last two years he wanted to do this by himself, but this year he actually let me help. But he still wanted to do the rows. This is the seed we bought. I wanted yellow corn, but I did not communicate that to my husband, and he came home with silver queen. It'll be okay. It's good, too. If you've never planted corn before, a lot of times it is coated with this pink substance. I think it's to help keep it from growing a fungus or going bad before it actually germinates in the ground. Now he's just covering up what we put in the ground. All that's left to do is wait. Hopefully that old mole won't get into our corn this year. So that is all for the garden update. Jake is out there covering up the corn that we just put down. He's finishing that up. And then it is supposed to actually storm tomorrow, but I hope we get a decent rain to water those in. If not, we'll just have to water by hand. So, I hope you and guys enjoy just seeing what's going on. Hopefully this weekend we'll finish up the silk screen. And we'll get the rest of our stuff put into the ground. Either this weekend or sometime next week. I like to try to wait till around Good Friday. Because I know this week we're supposed to have at least one more really cold day. And I've lost too many plants planting them before Good Friday before. So we'll see what happens. And when we get it done, I'll show you. Thank you, you guys, for joining me. So until we meet again, may you be blessed. Tornado just to the north of me in Butler, Georgia. I'm getting soaked, so I'm going to have to go in.
were just discussing our corn. Every year it seems like it rains really hard right after we plant it. We have to replant it. But this is throwing down some major water. Double Abra!